This is an update on the battery monitor. I wanted to show you a couple of things. Uh, first thing I wanted to show you is how to get off these two side pieces and then the back piece. And I think it's a little easier and you don't have to use a tool. So let me get my uh, wonderful wife over here. She's going to show, watch my hands. They never leave my wrist, by the way. <laughs> All right. So we go over here. I'm going to lift this up and pull it away like that and pull this away like that. And don't, you can tell when it gives, okay? There's one more up here I want to pull out. And so that one's done. So we've got that out. Patty's gonna come over here and film this. And the same thing is you just pull up a little bit and you can hear it, hear it click out. And then what you start to do now is to push it what I try to do is push it away from the side here. There's one more that's fighting me up here. There we go. Be careful, you don't want to break these off. Okay, so be careful about that. Now I'm going to the third piece. I'm gonna lift up like this. You see that all right, honey? Lift it up like this. Lift it up like this. This is actually pretty easy. Go over here, lift it up like this, and like this. Another piece, and we're out. You can see the monitor running right there. And you can see where I, what I did was, I had a screw over here, and I put another screw on top of it, and I put the negative ground uh, to this piece over here. I had it over here and I don't think it was getting the the right number. So anyway, I moved it over here and it's working just fine. And there's the red one over there. I'll show you that one. That's hooked right on there to that screw. Well, that's good. So we're looking good. Okay, one of the things we found out about the monitor the battery monitor, which I'm showing you right here. One of the things we found out about the battery monitor was that um, the number we're most concerned with is the number on the right-hand side, which is the state of charge, which is 97%. So the only thing I'm really concerned about is the state of charge and it's 97%, that is great. And uh, that's basically it. On the left-hand side, it says uh, state of health is only 75%. That has something to do with the uh, charging of the battery and the recharging of the battery and what have you that is in the General Motors software and hardware that goes uh, to the battery and start your car. So don't, you don't have to be really concerned about that unless it gets down to one bar. But the big number I'm concerned about is the one on the right, which is the state of, uh, the state of uh, charge is 97%, and that's hugely important. And I'll watch that until I, uh, until it gets really low, and then I'll, I'll put the, uh, the trickle charger on it. And also notice that there's a solar panel right here on the top, and that solar panel is going to take care of your little monitor. You notice I've got all the bars up here in the top left-hand corner, and uh, so it's fully charged, and it only needs indirect light. It doesn't need direct sunlight to charge it. It's pretty kind of nice. Also, it has a couple of warnings on it. If the battery gets too hot, or your battery gets too uh, low and needs to be charged. There's a little warning uh, chime that will go off, so keep an eye for that in case you've spent three or four weeks and you haven't driven your car. <laughs> but I'd keep an eye on this 97% and make sure where that uh, state of charge is. And if it gets really low, I put the trickle charger on it. Also, I want to mention uh, today uh, just before we finish this up, is uh, the guy who runs TeamZR1.com, uh, his name is John, 
and he's been, well, I've been a member of Team ZRN for over 20 years. And the reason I am, I am a member, have been a member for so long, is because he's tuned my C4, my C5, my C6, and my C7. And a couple of, three of them were, three or four of them were ZR1, Z06s, I should say. So uh, he's been able to get that extra 25, 50, 60 horsepower out of the car uh, just by tuning it. Of course, we haven't, uh, the code I think has been broken, but nobody has their hands on the code, code now. You could get another 50 horsepower out of your C8 if you could get uh, into the codes. And John knows how to do that, but not on the C8 yet. But maybe sometime soon he will have that information. But right now, if you have a C7, C6, C5, C4, uh, you want to get in touch with him and he can put a terrific tune on your car that you will absolutely love. So anyway, that's the story. I'm going to put a link down below when you see the words in um, broad text, bold text. If it says show more or more, it either says more or show more. Click on that because then you'll be able to see my link to John's final report that he has up on his website here and it'll take you right to it and you can find out what's going on. If you want to go just to this site right here, I'm also going to put a link to that and uh, that site is teamzr1.com and you can go right to the site that I'm showing you right here. And this is, he did, take a look at this one here because this one shows you he had a ZL1 that he tuned, a 2010 ZL1, and look what he did with this, it's pretty amazing. Um, so that's it, thanks for watching, and uh, I think you'll like this monitor, I'll put a link to the monitor too, it's on Amazon, you can buy it today if you want to. Uh, I think it's really handy, I like the fact that it is a remote, and that uh, you saw earlier that I had the, uh, the uh, other unit that monitors the battery, connected to the battery. And then this is wireless, wireless. And what it does is the monitor that's on the battery communicates to this guy right here. And that's what that little uh, Bluetooth thing ends up in the upper right hand corner. It lets you know that you are connected and um, it gives you continuous reading. And the more you drive the car, the more the numbers will change too. So those numbers aren't, go aren't gonna all stay the same. So keep an eye on that. It's really a clever little unit and it's very inexpensive. So thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.